Hello all you beautiful gamers out there, I'm Jules Controller and welcome back to Star Ocean. I'm so excited and happy because we're back on the Charles de Gaulle, the new spaceship. And let's run around and see where we need to go. Let me just adjust my headset a bit so I can hear. Is this where I need to be? Where am I going? What's going on? The bridge. Oh, that's right. Victor's never been on the ship. Is there something wrong, Victor? You all right? I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting this entire room to start moving. The equipment at the Royal Institute surprised me, but this is something else. So, this is your new ship? You know it. Welcome to the latest in battleship technology. The Charles de Gaulle G. Ah, uh, not two, but G. The previous one was a research vessel, whereas G. this one was built specifically for combat. Thus, it should prove more than capable of taking on Kronos' cruisers. I'm awesome. not sure I really get the difference, but both versions sound spectacular. Are we at the bridge? Is this where we need to be? I'm gonna push all the buttons. I'm just gonna poke them and hopefully not crash land us on another planet. What's the deal? The target is already well within the detection field of our ultra-long-range sensors. According to their data, the ship is heading for the Ampelos system at a speed of warp 14.3. Warp 14.3? That has to be some kind of mistake. It isn't. What's that mean? It means they can travel faster than us. This particular Charles de Gaulle is as advanced as Federation warship technology gets. It boasts a cruising speed of warp 11.2 and a top speed of warp 12.9. Dang! Despite all that, our adversaries leave us in the dust because they can travel at warp 14.3. That doesn't make sense. It's only a difference of 1.4, isn't it? A difference in warp speed of magnitude 1.4 equates to them being more than twice as fast as us. Moreover, we can't continuously operate at top speed. Cruising slows us down even further, meaning we could never hope to catch them as long as they keep going. Shit. Oh, no. They leave Gravitic us in the dust. Time. That's impossible. The Gravitic Warp Engine is still an experiment. What's that? It hasn't even undergone its 24-hour endurance test yet. A real-world deployment is tantamount to suicide. That alone doesn't make it impossible. It just makes it not the safest bet in the world. Let's I've do it. To establish contact with Dr. Krupp at Remote Station 5. You are too damn good at this. Emerson's a good captain. Long time no see, Doctor. Long time indeed, Captain. I hear that you've decided to take the Model G out for a spin. You are indeed a Kenny through and through. Sorry about that, but this ship's imperative to my mission. Well, it has to be tested at some point. Why not make it now? Oh, this By ship hasn't way, even been tested? Well, I assume there's only one reason you'd contact me at this juncture. Let me ask for the hell of it. What do you want? To use Gravitic Warp. Denied. Ouch. You're allowed to go a maximum warp speed of 11, and that's only in spurts. You've got to be joking. That's slower than normal warp speed. There's a dangerously high probability that we won't be able to control all the creation energy required to activate the Gravitic Warp Engine. Therefore, we're forced to use the normal Warp Engine for energy, resulting in the aforementioned lack of speed. As concise and accurate an explanation as ever, Miss Patriciani. I fail to see your issue, Captain. The normal Warp Engines aboard that cruiser are state-of-the-art. You can go plenty fast. Well, the Chrono ships have a cruising speed of 14.3. What? I was totally unaware they'd come so far with their technology. How fascinating. But the you other kids go faster. It's likely based on symbometrics. Symbometrics, huh? You say it directly influences the fundamental composition of matter. Meanwhile, we've barely scratched the surface of that discipline. No wonder they're ahead. We can't disregard the possibility that Kronos is able to repress creation energy. Perhaps a similar type through the use of symbometrics. What do you have there? I'm reviewing the information we recovered from the database inside their facility. It seems, however, that their symbometric research draws heavily upon the principles of Fakrete 4 signaturgy. Oh, cool. 
I can't grasp much of what's written here. Let me see that data of yours. Although, judging by what you said, I might not be able to understand much of it at the moment. If possible, I'd like to get the opinion of a local expert. Fiore! Fiore. Yay! You've already input all the information I've gathered into that machine. If you want to learn anything new, you should probably ask someone else. Speaking of which, what about asking Cassius? He's probably our best bet. We'll head for this local expert's place immediately, Doctor. Once we're there, you can talk to him directly. Perfect. I'll set it so I can receive transmissions at any time. You know the drill, Anne. Take her with you to the Royal Institute in Langdok. Yes, sir. All right, so they're the gonna go. The rest of us will hold down the fort until they're back. They're gonna go do that, and that—that's so cool that the enemy got most of their advancements in technology from our home planet. Like our home planet isn't very advanced, but they use Simba metrics from our home planet to help fuel their research and make it better. So that's kind of cool. We're still primitive in using swords, but our methods helped. While they're doing that, we're gonna go take a look around. Oh. Let's go to the cargo bay. Let's check out the cargo bay for fun. I haven't got much chance to explore this ship. And it's Victor's first time, so he should get to see everything. Oh, so cool. What's up, bros? Yeah, just space stuff. I got this. Pardon me. There's an orb I can touch. I got a book. I got a book! What's that? It's a, is that a spaceship inside a spaceship? Oh my gosh. Just psh, blowing my mind right now. I don't think there's much in here for me, so let's try the other areas. Let's see. We already were at the bridge. Let's go to Sick Bay. Hello, Sick Bay. Hello? Can I go in here? Nope. I can't go in there. Hi! Are there any sick people? I want to wish them well. Get better soon, guys. Not a whole lot to look at. Hmm. I'll just explore some of the other areas. Where else can I go? I was I was just there. The bridge. Let's see private quarters. Maybe we can sleep down here. Oh, cool. There's all sorts of places to Sorry. go. This must be my room. Is this my room? It says I can sleep here. I want to keep looking, though, before I... Hello? I'm just going to barge into other people's rooms this whole episode. Oh, another orb! Give me your treasure! Give me! Yay! Okay, I think, I think we should just sleep, because I don't know what else to do. Yes, go to sleep. Take a nap. Get fully rested for my big day. Here I am. Maybe Anne and Fiore are back already. Let's go to the transport room real quick before we go back to the bridge. Just real quick. Hello. I'm just poking fun, looking around. Whoa, that's pretty cool. There's my save marker. It's good to get familiar with your transportation. I imagine we'll be using the spaceship a lot from here on out. Let's go back to the bridge. Is Anne back yet? And to the bridge. 
Yes. How'd it go? I believe we'll have our answer soon enough. That's wonderful. Then come to the bridge ASAP. All right. <sighs> the two of them get along with each other way too well. They're back! I'm so happy. What's up, guys? What'd you learn? Connect me to Dr. Krupp. Banana phone. Do, 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 do. Hello, Doc. What's up? How's it coming along, Doctor? It's done. That's how it's coming, Slowpoke. Already? So you sassy. Never cease to amaze, Doctor. Well, let's cut to the chase. You'll need to both reprogram some aspects of the software and physically apply symbols to the outside of the Gravitic Warp Engine. Imbue the Warp Engine with symbols? I would never have thought of that. It's possible. And I can rewrite the software from here. But the symbols are the real problem. Sadly for you, I'm not a Symbometrics expert. I don't know a thing about how to imbue objects with symbols. Biore does! Dr. Krupp. Can you show me a list of the symbols we need? She's so smart. And beautiful. This is the symbological formula, a copy of which I've sent to your engine room's terminal. It looks pretty intricate, but I should be okay. What? Are you kidding me? They're the same as signets in principle, so anyway, I've never done such long and complex ones before, but I'll give it all I've got. Excellent. Say, what was your name again? Fiore. Fiore Brunelli. I'll have to remember that. Very well, let me start rewriting the program. If you can faithfully reproduce the formula I sent, we shouldn't have any problems. Got it. View that engine good. Leave it to me. Um, uh, Fiore? Would you mind if I tagged along and watched you imbue the engine? I've never seen anyone imbue an object before, so Aww. I can't help but be curious. Me too. I suppose it's only natural for a signaturge to be interested in this kind of thing. Mind if she comes too, Anne? Of course. No objections here. <gasps> yes! No, Miki. She's so cute. You should come with me and see it for yourself, Fidel. You weren't around when I got mine imbued, so I bet you've never seen it performed before, right? What? Uh, I don't know. It can't hurt to acquire some new knowledge. I don't see why you would refuse. She speaks the truth. There's never a reason to turn down a request from a lady. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ever since. <Captain. laughs> <laughs> Follow me to the engine room. Alrighty, let's do this. So far, things are going pretty easy. Deck three. Engine room. I guess there's more of the ships than I got to see. This must be the symbological formula he sent. Luckily, I just started researching compound signets and the combinations of base signets that form them. I've tried many different sequences before, but I've never seen anything near this complex. That's stark evidence of how great Cronus's strides in symbological technology have been. And Dang. those strides are what led to the creation of really and various signets? Those poor babies. They're just little girls, and they have so much power. You this can tell. The, engine room. the Gravitic Warp Engine's core should be right up ahead. And you can tell they don't want their powers. Poor babies. Open up, door! Open sesame! Ooh, I like that shiny light. Is that what this ship is powered on? I guess we can't get any closer. Oh, there we go. It would be dangerous for you to get any closer, so could you please stand back? All right, aye, then. aye. This is it. You can do it, Fiore.
Okay, Fiore. I'll bring up the symbological formula on this terminal, and you can do the actual imbuing. If you want to view the formula from a different angle, or have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks. You know, I don't think I'll ever get over feeling nervous when I have to imbue someone else's stuff. So hopefully once she does this, All we right. can Let's go really, it. really fast. She's making our engines go crazy fast. Hopefully it works. Oh, that's so cool. So this is how they put signets on objects and people. So this is what imbuing looks like. So shiny. So mystical. That was our final symbol. Oh wow, that light looks even prettier now. It's all green. Thank goodness. It's all over. Congratulations on a job well done, Fiore. Are you okay? I am tired. But I do want to see the results of all this. I suppose we should make our way to the bridge now. I guess imbuing, like, takes a toll on the user. Poor Fiore. Even though she's tired, she's still a gorgeous genius. Gotta go back to the bridge! Updated the software. Now our fate is squarely in the hands of Lady Luck. I thought you might like to know, Captain, that I've never done this without running months of tests first. If this ends in failure, I'll apologize to you all in heaven. Oh my gosh. I highly doubt that'll be necessary. I'll cut the power to the engine if I see any abnormalities. I see. Shut down regular warp engines. Yes, sir. Shutting down regular warp engines. First, we need to see if it can even start. Now, engage Gravitic Warp Engine. Aye, aye, sir. Engaging the Gravitic Warp Engine. I hope this works. What's going on? Come on. The Gravitic Engine's up and running. Okay, we didn't die. Warp so that's, what? That's good. Not yet, anyway. We didn't die yet. All systems normal, and gravitic wave values within predicted limits. First, try increasing the speed to warp 5. Warp 5. Yes, sir. Warp 2. 3. 4. And warp 5. There don't seem to be any problems yet. Now it's time for the real test. My calculations say we can safely accelerate to warp 15. Just do it carefully. You heard him. Accelerate to warp 15. So the enemy, Kronos, can yes, warp at 14.9. So 15 will be really fast for Six, us. Seven, eight, nine. We're now at warp 10, sir. Keep accelerating. 11, 12, 13, 14. I hope our ship holds. Good so far. Careful. This is the moment of truth. 14.2, 14 14.4, 14.6, 14.8. Warp 15, sir. Wow, All we did it. To be normal. Did it turn out okay? Yes. At least it would seem that way. What a feat. It is, isn't it? Yes, oh, we wow. totally did. It's ridiculous. It's a success, Captain. How magnificent to think that imbuing made this possible. Congratulations, Captain Kenny. The spacecraft is now officially the fastest in the Federation. Oh, yeah. Wow. Spectacular. Nice. We owe you a huge debt of gratitude, Doctor. No, Fiori is the one you should be thanking, not me. You're truly something special. What do you say to coming to work for me once this thing is over and done with? Thank you. I'll think about it. I love Fiore. According to my readings, there should be no issue with maintaining this speed. We could theoretically go up to 16, but there's not enough data yet to back that claim up. Stay cruising at 15 until we have some more. This should be plenty fast anyway. Keep sending me flight data as you receive. Also, 
Stay vigilant and remember, return to normal space the moment any aberrations occur. Will do. Thanks again for your help, Doctor. Troop, over and out. Maintain warp 15. We're going after that chrono ship. Yes, sir. Now plotting our course. At this speed, it shouldn't take long to catch up with them. I doubt they'll take kindly to our presence either. In the event they engage us right after emerging from subspace, get some rest while you can. That's so cool that that worked. To have the fastest spaceship in the Federation, that's so cool. And I think Emerson's part of a really great spaceship captain family. Because everyone's like, oh, you're a Kenny through and through. You're, you're a real Kenny. Like, I guess Kennys are known to be spaceship pilots, and I think that's cool. Is there anywhere I haven't checked out? Cargo bay. Transport room. Engine room. Private quarters. I want to go to the engine room real quick. Real quick. Yeah, there's not much going on here. We just get to look at that green light again. It's so pretty. I guess we'll go back and go to sleep now. I just wanted to get a closer look at that real quick. Let's go to our private quarters and we'll nap it out and then we'll go get that chrono ship and save our babies. Let's see, I think, yep, here's my room. Yay! Maybe I should save first. I'm pretty sure I can save after this. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Hopefully it'll let me save after this. I sure do hope so. Oh shit, maybe it won't let me save. Red alert, all hands to battle stations. Vacredians, come to the bridge immediately. I repeat, we're on red alert, all hands to battle stations. Shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bridge. I'm usually all about saving, but I think we're, we're good for a while. I'm excited to see what's happening. 16 minutes until contact. Set shields to Omni and phase cannons to automatic aiming. Whatever you do, don't let any shots hit their engine room. Aye, aye, sir. Setting shields to Omni. Putting phase cannons on automatic aiming. Other enemy ships? Our short-range radar detects only the one. It doesn't seem to have rendezvoused with any fleet yet. There's also nothing resembling a base in the area, but there is an asteroid belt. Captain, the enemy has slowed down. Only minutes until contact. Reduce our speed as well, but I don't want to go any slower than double the enemies. Sir! They've warped out and are flying a holding pattern in normal space. Emergency warp out. Enter normal space. Aye, aye, sir. Currently at warp 10, 9, 8. High energy emission from enemy ship. Now 0 0.173 light years away. Hurry, they're gaining the upper hand as we speak. Two, one. Now in normal space. Engines to half. Evade via course 140. Divert power from gravitic warp engine to shields. Reducing engines to half. Setting course 140. Diverting power from gravitic warp engine to shields. Four incoming torpedoes currently 30,000 clicks out. It's possible to avoid two of them, but we're assured of taking hits from the remaining two. Maybe we'll I should have saved. Easily enough. Our state-of-the-art shields and output from the gravitic warp engine will keep us safe. I hope so. All hands prepare for impact. <laughs> Shield efficiency reduced to 78%, but that figure is rapidly climbing. No problems here. Engines to three quarters. Launch four photon torpedoes on course 90, mark 90 at 100,000 clicks. Yes, sir. 30 seconds to current destination. After that, set engines to full power and take the enemy from behind. Fire phase cannons once we have visual contact, but don't aim for their engines. There's so much going Fire. on, it'll freak it out. Aye, aye, sir. Destination reached. Firing four photon torpedoes. I just have a sword. I'm not very helpful. Enemy taking evasive action. Torpedo 70,000 clicks out. Engines at full speed. Fire all phase cannons at the enemy's projected position. Firing phase cannons. 
quick, fire my These sword at him. Hit the enemy ship, but they seem to have had no effect. So their shields aren't half bad either. Fire the last four photon torpedoes. Copy that. Firing. Come on, Emerson. They managed to evade the first four torpedoes. The next four at 5,000 clicks. Three made contact with the enemy shields. And? Their shields are in perfect condition. Their speed remains constant. Damn it. It's our newest ship and we're barely treading water. They have quite the shields, don't they? Captain. Now that we can run the Gravitic Warp Engine for extended periods of time, it should be possible to use that energy to launch quantum torpedoes. This ship is equipped with 12 of them for testing purposes. You're right. That last attack should lead the enemy to underestimate our firepower. Hiding quantum torpedoes amidst a barrage of photon ones should also increase the likelihood they'll hit. That's a great idea. That's Trick them. for you. Load four photon and quantum torpedoes apiece. Don't forget to set it so they do not target the engine room. Aye, aye, sir. Preparing four photon and quantum torpedoes for launch. The enemy vessel's changing course. Their new course indicates they'll attack, not evade. They think they can take down our shields with a volley of plain old torpedoes. There's no doubt they have this. I hope this works. Fire two photon torpedoes, then fire two quantum ones. Hide him in a yes, barrage. Sir. Firing two photon torpedoes. Now firing two quantum ones. Captain, sensors read the enemy has launched eight torpedoes of their own. Take evasive action. Yes, sir. Talk about a bold move. That proves it. They don't think anything of our artillery. Photon torpedoes, 5,000 clicks out. Quantum torpedoes, 8,000 clicks out. Enemy torpedoes incoming at 20,000 clicks. The enemy's making no attempt to evade. Photon torpedo contact imminent. Oh. Their shields sustained no damage. Still no sign of evasion from them. Quantum torpedo contact imminent. Captain, their shields have been reduced to 11%. We've nice. Also confirmed. Their engines are no longer operational. Yes. And their torpedoes? We succeeded in avoiding all eight of them. What We're the best. Thrashing. Hold that thought. The enemy ship has lost power and is now caught in a nearby planetoid's gravitational field. What was that? Are they gonna uh, crash? If that ship goes down, Little Miss Starlight goes down with it. Engines at half speed. Hold it within ten clicks of the enemy. Ten clicks, sir? There's nothing their ship can do to us. It's lost all power and gone utterly silent. Understood. Engines to half speed. We're currently 10,000 clicks out, and gradually slowing down. And once we get within 10 clicks, halt its descent with our tractor beams. Will do. Currently 1,000, 500, 100, 10 clicks away, sir. Secure the ship with tractor beams. Activating tractor beams. That's a good idea. That way it doesn't crash. Their ship's trajectory has stabilized. I want to talk to their captain. Open a comm link for me. So we can glow. Yes, sir. Sir, there's no response from them. Sore losers. They can't respond, or that they simply don't want to. They don't want to. They're sore losers. We'll have to board them and settle this face to face. Prepare the transporter, and don't forget to investigate the ship's layout. Yes, sir. All right, everyone, to the transport room. All right, we're gonna board the ship. And save little Miss Starlight and her sister. I'm not worried. I think I've got this. I'm pretty strong. And I can finally save. I'm glad I get a chance to save too. Here we go. Delacroix, what's the situation inside the ship? It's lost almost all its power, including the default generator. All that's left is a small reserve, which is connected to the life support system. Then let's hurry. Let me save real quick. I know we're pressed for time, but I haven't saved in a while, and my luck, I'll die when I'm in there. And I don't want to start all over from my last save spot, which was the beginning of this episode. Heal. 
And here we go. Prep for transport. All right. Time to board the enemy ship and get Little Miss Starlight back. We're the new Guardians of the Galaxy. So cool. enough for this and I guess not um heal myself oh shoot I'm gonna die I'm so glad I saved because I'm totally gonna die oh no <laughs> oh I was like bragging like I'm so strong now I've got this ah uh. Oh well, this is just one of those games where you just gotta constantly grind to keep the storyline going and I unfortunately did not do that and I should have done that and I had a whole week to do that. Here we go. Let's go ahead and load. Yes, I would like to load this save file, please. Thank you. I'm gonna try it one more time and focus on healing my comrades. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to grind. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Heal. Is there anything I, else I can do? Um, how are my skills looking? My rolls. Increase this. Um... Doesn't hurt to work on these. Okay, I think I'm all out. Can I learn new rules? Anything? There we go. I can learn that. Let's go ahead and anything else I can learn. Okay. There we go. There we go. Maybe that'll help. I think we're good. I think I think I can do this. We just have to try. For transport. Here we go. All right. Time to board the enemy ship and get little Miss Starlight back. Okay. Energizing. I've got this. Just focus on healing. That's my plan. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to have to grind. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. It sucks that we have to teleport on top of the enemy, though. I'm so glad I saved. I can do this. I believe in myself. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Whoa, that new move is cool. And I need to heal Anne real quick. Oh, that new move is so cool, though.
items. Oh, this is going so much better. Let me heal Miki. Just gotta keep Miki up. Oh man, I'm wicked strong. And heal myself real quick. <laughs> I got really close and personal with her. Holy cow, what a difference learning a move makes. Oh, wow. I'm glad I know that now. Right, is this where I need to go? Okay, yeah, because I'm going to... I need to save up here. There's a healing bubble here, so I could probably grind through here, too. And I'm going to save. Let's go ahead and save right here. Yay! We're saving because... I'm going to I'm going to grind through this for the next episode so that way nothing is slowing us down so we can continue the storyline. I'm all out of time for today guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so glad I learned that move and I was able to kill those guys. That was awesome. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think and I will see all of you in my next episode. Bye guys. <laughs>